Dr. Reddy, I just want to uh, ask you uh, something about gut health. Yes. And it's become a very prominent element these days. Um, we just like to ask you and tell the viewers and all of us uh, what you feel about it, uh, how it is affecting our lives. Because it's been noticed that gut health also um, provides an access to several other diseases and uh, more importantly sometimes your mental health as well. Yes. Um, maybe if you can just elaborate on that. Dr. So I think um, as a gastroenterologist we realized early that gut health is very important to maintain rest of the body. Like Dr. Praveen was saying, cardiac, cardiac heart also is controlled by the stomach, yeah. the gut. In fact, our ancient, uh, we used to have in the text saying that everything comes from the gut. That's true because the gut has a lot of bacteria which produce all our food is digested by the gut. Bacteria send all these chemicals to the body and these chemicals control every activity of the body. The heart rate, the blood pressure, the mental health, everything is controlled. And any changes in the lifestyle, decreased exercises, uh, abnormal food habits, smoking, alcohol, everything affects the gut microbiome causing a dysbiosis in the gut and this problem. And one important thing we noticed is that fatty liver disease, which is part of the liver, is part of the gut, is affecting 30% of the Indians, 30%. Really? 30, whether you stay in the village, whether you stay in the city, it's same. The fast foods, we think that fast foods are calories causing the problem. No, fast foods have additives and preservatives which is causing the problem. They have certain uh, elements inside the fast yes, food. Yes, yes. Fast, which is fast foods have got like titanium, they got some phenols. All these are preservatives. And, uh, it's and, not and the they calories, harm the body. And they harm the body. It's not the calories. These fast foods will change the bacteria, will cause damage to the gut, will cause damage to the... Uh, liver. In all Western countries, these preservatives, additives are very strictly controlled. Only 60 of them can be used. I don't know about the Indian law, but I request Honorable Minister, you can do something for this, fast food, uh, additives or preservatives, food mein regulation, that certain only safe ones are given. And unfortunately, in India, we are not only becoming the diabetic capital, but we are becoming the capital for fatty liver disease. And this fatty liver disease leads to Cirrhosis of the liver, liver cancers, highest number of liver cancers in the world are in India. And we are genetically prone for fatty liver. So unless we control this, diabetes is okay, heart disease is okay, but fatty liver is going to kill many Indians. If we look at the gut microbiota, <clears throat> then when you are born, yeah. you are born with a normal gut microbiota if you are born by the normal vaginal delivery instead of cesarean section. If you are breastfed exclusively for the first six months, yeah. your first epigenetic normal microbiota is written. You are less likely to become obese. You are less likely to develop the lifestyle diseases. So actually, you know, we have to start right from the yeah. beginning. So it has the strength to tackle all these things. Yeah. So actually one very important message to the public would be that if you want your child to have a normal healthy start, exclusively breastfeed for the first six months, Provide yes. an environment which is supportive. You know, like in our public places, we are not very supportive about the breastfeeding. Uh -huh. You go to the West, you know, women yeah. breastfeed even in the, in the trains, local trains. I it's think, a better uh, lifestyle. Yeah, what Dr. Claire says is right. There are three things which determine the gut health in a child. One is vaginal delivery, second is breastfeeding, third is no, no antibiotic should be used. Yeah. Yeah. If you follow these three, our children will start having a healthy gut. 